shots I've seen in a long time. And he stands about six. six feet one at the most. Huh? That's right. Uh, certainly is about 15 pounds lighter than his own brother. Beautiful steal perpetrated by Norman Black. Uh, but they're going to settle to a half-court offense. Norman coming in from the left side. Inside the paint now. Drops it to Bigalbin. He misses a point-blank range. And Jimmy Wanazala crashing the board for the defensive rebound. Carpio continuing the fluid motion against Jess Bigalbin. He escapes Bigalbin, but not Norman Black. And we have got a tremendous struggle for the leather with Joey Carpio called for the foul. Yes. He typifies the Ateneo spirit, the school that he comes from, you know. Never giving up, trying to go for the loose ball recovery, hoping to be able to get the chance to recover that. We have a timeout called by Great Pace. We'll be right back. Shots I've seen in a long time. And he stands about 36. six feet one at the most. Huh? That's right. Certainly is about 15 pounds lighter than his own brother. Beautiful steal perpetrated by Norman Black. But they're going to settle to a half-court offense. Norman coming in from the left side. Inside the paint now. Drops it to Bigalbin. He misses a point-blank range. And Jimmy Wanazala crashing the board for the defensive rebound. Carpio continuing the fluid motion against Jess Bigalbin. He escapes Bigalbin, but not Norman Black. And we have got a tremendous struggle for the leather with Joey Carpio called for the foul. Yes. He typifies the Ateneo spirit, the school that he comes from, you know. Never giving up, trying to go for the loose ball recovery, hoping to be able to get the chance to recover that. We have a timeout called by Great Pace. We'll be right back. Uh, look at some of the Magnolia fans comprising about 45% of the turnout here at the Ultra. Actually, the Great Days fans outnumber the Magnolia fans, but only for tonight because they sense a championship uh, coming up after tonight's game. Norman Black gets it over to Joey Lizaga. The pump fake. He's up and it's out. Norman Black for the follow-up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Binion was sent into the ball game after a timeout called by Baby Deloup and the lead is down to only seven. He came in for uh, Ponky Alalor. Seven minutes and 21 seconds left before the halftime break. If you ever look down at the feet of these skaters on the floor, you'll find a lot of them wearing Crosby shoes, the official basketball shoes of the PBA. Inside the paint, Mani Victorino is rejected by not only Banate, but a foul is called on Banate, his first personal. That's also a good play on the part of Great Taste. They get Joe Binion out there. Norman has to guard him on the outside, and then they post up Victorino, who certainly has an advantage over the uh, power forwards of the other team. No question about that. He stands six feet five, and he's got a lot of very agile movements. He was the most uh, improved player last year, and uh, certainly is show living up to his name. You know, he's not getting the play proper playing time because he's really a center. And with Binion there, he has to sit it out more often than not. Oh well, he'll come out in full force. Come the All Filipino Conference. 14 fouls for great pace, two for Magnolia, nine-point lead for the coffee man, and we've got a foul by Joey Carpio as he dived for the ball. His yeah, second you, personal. If you saw the play, you saw Leisaga again taking the shot after the foul was called and making it from about 21 feet. That's right. Uh, here's Norman Black against the barrel chest of Chito Leisaga and his frontal assault at a basket produced nothing but they keep it alive. New franchise at a basketball for the ice cream makers. Bate is open. He asked for the ball. It nearly went right through his fingers. So it's one more time on the block for them. 16 seconds in the shot clock. Plenty of time to organize an offensive that will pay up. No pay up. Last touch on uh, Joey Loisaga in that play. Slippery spot there in that uh, position. He was asking for it to be wiped. He would have gotten the loose ball recovery if he had not slipped. That's right. And here's Joe Binion bringing it leisurely down toward us. Toto de la Cruz steps oh. into the scene. He spotted an elbowing foul committed by Noli Banate away from the ball. That's right. Victorino was positioning himself in low post again, and Banate was denying him that position. Dante Gonzalo is also trying to deny Carpio any breathing position. And Joe Binion, the jump shot by Manazala from the three-point region is no good. Chito Loizaga beating block to the rebound. Joe is scampering after the leather and gets it for Magnolia. Boy, this guy's perseverance personified. And oh, look at what, a, coast what to a coast. drive in play by Joey Loizaga. And back in defense immediately. Joey Loizaga. Five points to his name. And here's Joe Binion. Manny Victorino. Oh, that was a great passing play. Pick and roll play. Victorino sliding in, getting the pass. Rosalgo challenging Binion here. Decides to cup out. Good decision. 
And they're going to do this more deliberately now with five minutes and 46 remaining before the halftime break. Lizaga with a fake. Uh, Joey Carpio is keeping a fighter rain on him now. And Joey just picked up his third personal. You know how beautiful it is to be really young. You know, that's why Joey Lizaga can go for all those loose ball recoveries and have the stamina to make a shot and be the first one to come back on defense. Dr. J, you can still remember how it is to be <laughs> young. I can't anymore. A couple of substitutions. Carpio is now replaced by Pearson. Manansala is replaced by Brown. Here is Marty Saldana, as usual, confronted by Ricky Brown, Black, Chito Lizaga. So what else is new? The jump shot by Black. His rifle has gone sour again. But he's tired, you know. The pace was very quick in the first quarter. And so far, there are only 5 minutes and 28 seconds left here in the second quarter. He has played without relief. One consolation for Magnolia is the fact that Great Taste is now courting team foul trouble with six. Ricky Brown misses on a jump shot of Joey Lizaga. Joey has been doing a great job of Ricky Brown. He's been keeping Ricky Brown's rifle silent for the last few minutes. And here's Norman now. Now, by the elder Luis Saga, Manny Victorino trailing Gonzalgo. Slightly open is Marty Saldana making his move now. And the rejection by Manny Victorino actually butterfingers. But a baseline stepping violation by Joe Binion will give the basketball right back to Magnolia. I think that was a good and legitimate call. Tote de la Cruz was underneath the basket. He saw the play. Binion was uh, uh, dilly-dallying a little bit in picking up the ball. And that caused him that error. Baseline inbound by Julie Saga. Snapshot by Norman Black. Good oh. follow-up by Noli Banate. Good play there by Banate. It's a good thing he didn't bring it down anymore. He might have been rejected. Just went straight up for the follow-up. Six points for Noli Banate. Of course, top scorer for Magnolia right now is Norman with 16 at low post. We've got Mani Victorino losing the ball on a swipe from behind by Noli Banate. But Brown recovers and misses on an open shot. Mani Victorino. There's no, it's not going to be counted as a foul is called on Victorino going over the top of Norman. Lucky break for Magnolia in that piece of action. The second personal for Manny Victorino. Joey Luizanga checks out to a big applause from the highly appreciative Magnolia fans. And in his place, we've got Bivoy Ravanes, fresh as a daisy after about six minutes of rest on the bench. This is very good pacing on the part of both coaches right now because you need that in this kind of a game. You know, you cannot just go with the first five throughout. There's a great battle of games going on at the sidelines too. There's going to be a foul on Gonzalgo as he goes over the top of Victorino this time. And great taste is on the loose once again. Will Pearson, Tari Gonzalo watching him. Ricky Brown in an eyeball to eyeball confrontation with Vivo Ravanes, who's about to follow him all the way to his home. <laughs> and back. And back too. Mani Victorino off Manate, a tad short. Norman Black. That's his 10th rebound for the evening. And they lose it on a careless dribble by Marty Saldana. There you can see the assistant coach, Derek Pomarin. Still a seven-point lead for great taste. This uh, score has been frozen for quite a while right now. That's right. Derek Kumar, by the way, personifies youth in Philippine basketball. He's up against the experience and the savvy of an institution in the person of Baby Dalupa. And there's Dante Gonzalgo. Yes, youth versus the maestro. That's right. You couldn't have said it any better, Dr. J. He is a maestro, all right. He 11 has, championships in the PBA should be and he has piloted great taste to two consecutive championships last year possibly a third one tonight 49 44 five point lead for great taste 323 to go Mali Victorino way offline with that jump shot and the Magnolians are on the attack oh, oh another and they pass. away by Marty and, and he was really really peeved with his own with himself in that play huh, Joe? Maybe he's trying too hard, Dr. J. I think he was expecting the player to cut into the basket here in open lane, but the player stood still, froze for a minute, for a second, and they lost the play. Here's Ricky Brown, and hounded by Vivo Ravanes, close to the midcourt line. Manny Victorino gets it right back to Ricky. Two minutes and 59 to go in the first half. 49-44, Chito Loizaga underneath. And that's going to be a foul on Chito Loizaga, pushing off Norman Black. All right, there against all odds. 49-44, just a five-point lead for Great Taste with two minutes and 54 before the halftime break. And Norman Black has two shots coming to him from the free-throw line. He has already 16 points in this ballgame. Making the first for his 17th point, and they've cut down the lead to only four. 49-45 is the exact count. Magnolia still has four fouls to give. They've held their fouls beautifully in the second quarter. Ricky Brown. This man uh, is such a graceful pitcher of a gazelle every time he brings that ball down for it for great taste. Joel Bernal is in the ball game too, uh, and he's dealing with a much shorter kind of person of Rudy Distrito. Here's Ricky Brown getting a pick from Abi King. The pick and roll. Ricky Brown takes it from outside. Three, Three point, point shot. 
Well, he was missing all of his shots as he came in after the break that he 